So this boost buck converter can also be used as a battery charger. So you connect your power supply to the input of the converter and the output you connect to your battery. Once this is powered up, you can press this for three seconds. And now you can set the voltage as well as the amperage. So you press once here and you can set the voltage. So I have to set it to 4.2 because that would be the limit for the lithium-ion 18650. So now after setting that, I'm going to set the amperage. Long press this again, and you can set the amperage. So I need to set this to one amp. That would be 0.5C. Okay, so now you can connect your battery and start charging. And if you want to set the capacity of the battery, you can also do that. So in order to do that, you long press this for three seconds. It goes into this mode here. And then you would go to OA. H, which is amp hour over prote uh, protection. Okay, once you're in this mode, you press the on off button to set the amp hour. So I would set this to two amps. Okay, so this would be the capacity for this battery. Okay, so once it's set long presses to go back to this screen here and you can connect your battery okay let's connect this and to start charging just press this button so that it will go on and it will start charging Okay, so down here it will show the wattage going into the battery. You can also change the display. So this is the amp hour. This would be the watt hour. And this would be the run time. I forgot to mention, you also have to set the run time on the charger. I'm going to go back later and show you how to do this. Okay, this is the amps going into the battery. Because the battery is somewhat full, so it's only putting in 369, uh, 369 uh, milliamp or 0.367 amp. And this is the watts, okay? So this will keep charging Let's set it to amps. And when you see the amps going to zero, then you know the battery is fully charged. So you also have to set the maximum run time for the boost buck converter when you're using it as a power supply and also when you're using it as a battery charger. To do that, you long press this Okay, you go to this screen here, then you go to OHP. Okay, so this is the screen. 
and this is the number of hours that I have set it to. I've set it to 99 hours, the maximum. Because if you set it to a, a lower runtime, say uh, 10 minutes, then after 10 minutes, this would shut off. And if you're using it as a power supply, then your radio would shut off. And uh, you, you might not know what is happening, but maybe you have inadvertently set the runtime to a very low runtime. So I have set it to 99 hours. So this would be good for charging as well as operating your devices. So that's a setting that you have to do. And uh, the other setting that you can do is you can lock the the setting that you made. Say this setting here. By long pressing this for five seconds, you can lock this setting. If this is what you're using the converter consistently for, for charging a battery, if you want to lock this so people don't change it, you can long press this five seconds. Okay, you see lock on. So, and you see the lock symbol here. So this setting is locked. To unlock it, again, you press five seconds. Okay, now it's locked up. So those are the settings that you have to know if you want to use this as a battery charger. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all there is to it. The boost bug converter doesn't come with a box, of course. So I put it in a project box. This is a Radio Shack hot plastic box. Uh, the output or the capability of this is 35 watts or 4 amps. So you can also drill a couple of holes if you run it consistently at higher uh, output. But for like if you're just outputting one or two amps, I think it is fine. If it is for radio like this, it uses two watts. So you don't have to worry about stressing the boost converter here. So this boost converter might come in different names. So this one here is CNC and there's a model number there. XYSK35. So that's the model number. 15,000 eBay. Alright? Thanks for watching.